Hey, what's up guys? It's Darwin. So I've been getting a lot of comments and requests to make a video on my cup koozie and my cook pouch and how I made them. So today I figured I'd do a little uh, DIY video on how I made these very cheap and actually I made these from the trail in Hiawassee, Georgia. So I'm going to kind of show you uh, kind of the cheap way to make it and Hopefully they'll work out for you and you can use them on your through hike or any type of backpacking trip. Alright guys, so this is everything that you're going to need to make your koozie and your cook pouch. Um, first off, just a generic um, accordion sunshade. It's kind of made out of this silvery bubble wrap stuff. Uh, I got this at a big box store. You can get it at dollar stores sometimes. Dollar Generals, Dollar Trees, but anywhere you can find one of these, uh, this is what you're going to need. Um, this one is the Max Reflector Accordion Sunshade. Next up, some sort of a tape. Uh, a lot of people use duct tape, so it's Silvery, silvery and shiny, just kind of like the reflector. Um, I use Gorilla Tape. Number one, it was on my trekking poles, so it made it easy. And number two, uh, it sticks really good. Even when it gets hot or wet, it still sticks, so I use Gorilla Tape. Next up, a Sharpie or some sort of way to mark some lines. Uh, I typically carry a Sharpie in my pack, so that's what I'm using. A little pack of Velcro strips. Um, can be any size, really. You can cut them down. I use the little ones that are squares. Um, Velcro strips for the flap on the pouch. Next up, some sort of cutting tool. On the trail, I use my little knife that I carry with me everywhere. Um, but in this case, or if you're doing it at your house, you can use a pair of scissors. Um, so for this application, I'll be doing scissors, but again, the little knife works as well. And then last but not least, for a template, you're going to need a nor rice side so we can get the width and the length for the pouch and then your cup or your cook pot that we're going to use to measure and make our template for our koozie. So yeah, that's all that you're going to need and let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, let's take our windshield visor and uh, we're going to start with the pouch. So if you can see on my pouch, essentially it's one big long piece um, that I have folded over I'm going to put this little flap on the bottom. Why I did that is whenever you get something in there, it kind of helps it stay flat so it stands nice and flat. Um, so to make that, I simply took, see I took a nor rice side and kind of lined it up. So we'll start up here. Um, and what I'm going to do is just kind of get the overall width. And we're going to take it and mark it a little bit wider. And then lengthwise, I like to do about two and a half the length of the actual package. So here's my half. And I'll kind of make a line here. And then we'll just go ahead and cut it up. So then we have our piece of foil. Now what I like to do is go ahead and lay this on there. We're going to fold this over so we make sure that we have the height. And go ahead and take that out. Now I like to make a little fold here. Again, that's going to be for our make sure that it sits flat. Now you can see where we have a little bit of extra hanging over here. I just want to go ahead and trim that. Kind of make them both the same width. I'm just going to kind of eyeball how long I need. Tear me off a piece. Right there. 
And again, make sure we put our fold in it. There's our fold. And I'm gonna tape down this one side. Halfway down. And fold it over onto the other side. So there you go, you have one side. Come over here, grab the other side. We're gonna even it up as well. Same thing, just kind of guess on your tape length. And fold it over. So there you go, you got your pouch with your two tape sides. You got your flat bottom so it'll can stand up and then make sure that your right side fits in. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold this over, take our Velcro, put one piece on the pouch, peel back the other piece, Do the same over here. Fold it over. Press down really nice. And then you got your pouch. Pretty simple, pretty fast to do. Like I said, I did mine from the trail. You can take a little more time on yours, make yours look a little more even, but. That pretty much does it. All right guys, so to get the width of my cup, I simply kind of have a flat edge here, bring it up to that part, and then you can kind of fit this around. You can see, boom, right there. Take your marker, mark that. And then, Go ahead and cut that. And then width, you want to take your cup again, find out where your width is. And you can use the bubbles to actually act as a guideline. Cut all the way across. So now you have your sidewall of your koozie. Now what we're going to want to do is take a spare piece, set the cup down on there, and then go ahead and trace around the cup. You should have a circle. Go ahead and cut that out. Now what I did on mine was I made this little bitty bridge here. So if you come down and take one of your spare pieces, Measure that. Now is when we're going to start taping. So you want to take your tape. Right 
tape the other side. Go ahead and roll the edges. And then what I did was actually took my mug, placed it in there. Then you can take your bottom, put it on, and tape. And you just stare. So yeah, you pretty much just want to make sure that you get all your nice tape edges to make sure those two pieces together. You have your bridge um, and then your sides. And yeah, again, you know, you can definitely make it a lot prettier than what I've made it here. It's a little, little bad, but as you can see, the one that I actually made on the trail, uh, I rounded off all the edges real nice. And just over time, it wears in and kind of fits really nice and snug in there. So yeah. There you go. Nice, cheap, easy koozie. Alright guys, so there you have it. Hopefully this video showed you how to make a nice, easy, and cheap koozie for your cup and a nice cook pouch for your meals on the trail for rehydration. Um, if you want to see how I use this very effectively, how long I let stuff set for and how much water I use with the meals that I do put in here, go over and check out this video I made a while back and I'll explain a little more in that video on how exactly I use this. Um, let me know what you think. Leave some comments below, like or dislike my video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, definitely go over and check out DarwinOnTheTrail.com. Snuggles and I have been posting a lot of new media, especially as we get closer and closer to hitting the AT again at the end of May. So, thanks for everyone that's been leaving a lot of comments, liking, subscribing to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Yeah.